Hey, what is going on guys? Chris here with the Nightmare Corner. So today is crazy because I had nothing to do today. I'm off today. And there was something I've been wanting to do for the longest time. And I finally decided to do it because I have nothing to do. So we are visiting Badham Preschool, the filming location for Nightmare on Elm Street, the 2010 remake. And we are at the preschool that was in that film. Now, I was around, I lived three blocks down from this place. And um, I remember coming home one day and I'm seeing the trailers and the lights, the facade, everything for the for the preschool was up and, and ready. And it was actually the scene where it snows or there's ash or whatever it is that's on the on the on the building when they were doing that nightmare sequence. And I actually got to see Jackie Earl Haley in his full full blown Freddy Krueger outfit. And uh, I remember because, you know, the guards were at the trailers and we're asking, what movie is this? And they said Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, after that, because the crowds kept on coming to see the filming, they ended up blocking it with the trailers. But, you know, that, that's fine. That's cool. But check this out, guys. I'm going to show you guys. We are here. I'm going to try to get as much as I can. There is a fence to where we can't cross, and it is private property. But as long as I'm on this stretch of road, we're going to be good to go. So let me flip it around so you guys can see. This is Bad Ham Preschool. Check this out. All right, guys, so there it is. There is the preschool from A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is where Freddy Krueger pretty much did some bad things. And this is where the kids of Springwood went to preschool in the 2010 remake. Now, like I said, I lived about three or four blocks down that way. And I remember seeing, and I'm going to put some pictures on as I talk when I edit this so you guys can see where everything was. But down this stretch of road... Um, it leads up to the uh, preschool and if I'm not mistaken I, I'm gonna try I, I can't promise in this video but somewhere that way is where they actually filmed the burning of Freddy and all that good stuff so here now this is a food pantry so that's probably the reason why for all the boxes and the pallets but like I said as long as we stay on this side of the fence uh, we'll be good but right there you can see where the brick is that was where the entrance to the preschool was and you actually had the Badham preschool sign up on top and I remember that clear as day when I was here when they were filming it if we come a little bit further this way you know there was like a white fence coming out here and then this is I want to say the playground I'm not I'm going off of memory right now but in the pictures I want to say this is where the playground and everything was but look at that yeah I remember too because they had like the whole playground set up and all that good stuff I'm gonna try to see if we can walk around the side so we can kind of get a side view of it. But yeah, I, I mean, uh, I wasn't a big fan of the remake. I liked it. There were some good parts of it, some elements that I, I did enjoy. But uh, I mean, hey, this is a filming location for a horror movie, so I kind of have to do it. But there's the side view here. This is where the playground and everything would have been. I'm not sure when they took the school photo. I want to say it was probably on the side of the building here. Because I remember the playground being here in the in the uh, in the front side, but needless to say, this is this is pretty cool, and this is probably going to sound funny, but I think what I'll probably do is I'll put some videos, uh, if I could find one in Dead by Daylight, where they actually have the Bad Ham Preschool because it's pretty much the same layout as what this is, and uh, we're going to get a little bit closer because I want you guys to try to see as much as possible of this. Uh, and this is the, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Southeast Side Food Pantry. So if you guys can give them a follow on Facebook and, you know, kind of, even though, uh, you know, they're not here or anything like that. And, but I mean, hey, this is, this is the food pantry. We got to support them, you know, I mean, we're here kind of filming, even though we kind of don't need permission unless we wanted to get over on the side of the fence. But who knows, maybe one day I could reach out and we can get on the other side of the fence. But yeah, so here is the preschool and like i said here's the front of the building here and uh you know right above there is where the bad ham preschool sign would have been and the white fence and all that good stuff so it's pretty crazy to to be in a filming location you know i, I see and i understand now why most uh youtubers and stuff like that love going to these places because this is this is history here you know and uh i mean it's just crazy to say Right now we're at Baham Preschool. And you know what? I kind of had to take advantage of it too because, you know, I, I live not too far from here. Uh, well, I used to live. I used to live a couple blocks down that way. Uh, now I'm about maybe 20, 30 minutes from this place. 
but yeah look at that it's pretty cool and like i said i remember because the trailers and stuff were all right here you know and then they had their little campers and the actors and all the film crew were right here and yeah like i said they had the machines shooting out like the snow to give it that snowy look so it's pretty cool pretty amazing to be at the preschool plus it's freddy krueger so i mean even though the film may have not have been a total success it's still pretty crazy to actually be at the school yeah and i'm not sure i i i'm trying to remember because like i said the the place where he actually got burned and ran down was somewhere around here it was really close so i'm going to try to find it if i can't find it um we'll definitely come back another day and and kind of hunt that down and uh yeah i mean so i mean this is pretty much just going to be for this filming location this one area um the other ones are kind of like up north chicago and in indiana and we'll, we'll probably make a day out of it to go visit that and all that good stuff but i mean there you go guys there's badham preschool Yeah, and it's crazy to think that uh, you live so close to something like this, you know. And I always used to think that this was the highway that they drove down when they were driving on their way to the school and they ended up crashing. It could be. I don't want to tell you guys a lie. I, I don't know, but I would assume that they would have done that scene here. I mean, it makes sense because it's, I mean, like I said, you have that road down there and then it leads right to the school. So there's, I would assume there would be no reason why they wouldn't film that. I mean, I might have to watch the video and try to see if I could do some matchups. But I would imagine that's where they were driving down and, and Nancy spots Freddy or, you know, who are, what's his name? Quint, when they were driving, spot Freddy in like a super flash and then they ended up crashing somewhere. But look at that. Let's see if I could try to raise it so you guys get a clear picture over the fence. You know, that's a good idea. I think I'm going to do that for the front of it, too. So, yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I mean, uh, what filming locations are, are you actually happy and proud of to have around you? Or do you live by any filming locations or anything like that? I'm curious to know. Because something like this uh, is pretty cool that it's so close. I'm actually going to be planning to do a video on the Child's Play, the original. Uh, filming locations because I mean I do live in Chicago so you kind of have to do some uh, child's play and uh, candy man and actually the relic too was filmed at the field museum so that'd be another cool thing to do too but yeah look at that of course private property we won't we won't go over but look at that that's it's so cool to be to be here i know i said it like a million times but let's see yeah so crazy i'm so curious um i might have to call them probably on like the weekday when they're open and see if they'd be okay with like over the fence filming and try to find out if there was actually filming inside because i want to say if you go based off of the movie and i know movie magic it may not be accurate they could this could have just been the outside facade for it but it almost seems like when she walks into there and when she turns down like that hallway going through the classrooms you would think that these are probably the classrooms i don't know we, we would have to ask and see if they actually filmed inside the building and uh, if that's actually true or not but there you have it badham preschool all right guys so unfortunately i could not find the exact location where the parents hunt down freddy and burned them uh, to be honest this area growing up and even still now it's a very industrial uh type of area so like right where we were at and where i pointed and kind of going further back you know we have like the ford company um, and there's a lot and i mean a lot of steel mills and abandoned factories back there so <clears throat> I, th I think without exact pictures or you know things like that where you can kind of um, 
you know look at the picture and look at where you're at to kind of help you find where you're at is going to be kind of difficult because there's a lot of those areas you can't even get into because they're fenced off so honestly i don't think we'll ever be able to find the exact location or actually show anybody will be able to show those locations um but there's a lot of buildings in the area that that look similar and that look alike but nothing from what i can see out of the movie so uh that kind of sucks but hey we at least got bad ham preschool which i think is pretty cool like i said that was like four three three or four blocks away from where i used to live um and that's really cool and then kind of looking back at the photos they actually took the class photo in front of the not in front of the school but a little bit to the right of it so it wasn't along the side of the building like i had previously said but uh it's really cool still to see the nightmare on elm street uh, filming locations you know and it's nothing compared to the original obviously but just to be somewhere where it's pretty cool you know where they filmed a horror movie i think is pretty awesome and uh another story about it real quick before i end the end the video is i remember when they were getting ready to film that movie you know they were building the sets and stuff like that my mom's boyfriend at the time worked there and that was before it was a food pantry and he told us that what they were filming there and that's where i was like oh crap i gotta start paying attention and uh i saw you know like i said i saw the trailers and stuff and it was all snowed over and you know saw jackie and his and his freddy krueger outfit and all that good stuff and uh but the other one is is i remember driving and pulling up I, I kid you not i pulled up and you know those two tower like tow trucks or flatbeds or whatever you want to call it they had the spring the uh, springwood uh police cars that are in the movie on there so they were transferring all those uh, police cars for the movie and uh, I remember because I was coming back from downtown Chicago for something and I pulled I pulled up next to it and I seen Springwood and I'm like oh wow I wonder I bet you any money that's for the movie that they're that they're gonna be filming and stuff and uh, needless to say when the movie came out and I saw the movie and I was like yep those are those exact same squad cars that I saw earlier and uh, so it's pretty cool you know I'm a, I'm a big Freddy Krueger fan you know uh, Freddy Krueger is pretty much my number one I mean I love Michael Myers it's like a tie between the both of them um, but you gotta have love for Freddy and like I said even though the remake wasn't the greatest it was still good it was decent um, and it had its good parts and then it just had its bad parts but uh, yeah the filming location that was Bad Ham Preschool I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I'm gonna plan to do like I said the Chucky filming locations uh, maybe some Candyman and then uh, whatever other horror movies that we got going on in Illinois and Chicago. So uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Like I said, it, I was like, you know what? I got nothing better to do and the preschool is not too far from where I'm at. Uh, let's go do a filming location video. So there you have it. That's the location for Bad Ham Preschool. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Be nice to somebody. Don't be a monster. See you in the next one. Take it easy.